Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for around the 7th of October 2022 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for you Aries. We have a commitment of some kind. So let's see what that is about. What do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aries. 7th of October 2022. Thank you. So we have the Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. We have the King of Wands. This could be you, Aries. Yeah, I feel that you're. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands can be a card of victory, success, winning. Now for some of you, the victory might mean that you've won. You've won a commitment. Uh, it could well be that the Wands energy can lend themselves to money, career, finances. I mean, it might well be some kind of committed award is coming your way as well. This can be this energy here of some kind of commitment is being made. You're victorious about it. Uh, the Six of Wands is, is fire energy, your energy. I put it right next to likely you. The King of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, but this is you back on your throne in some way. Uh, the King of Wands is not afraid to face things that are difficult to face uh, because male or female energy with this card this is somebody who will take action they're driven they're go-getting they're empowered but they understand their own power they know what they deserve in terms of empowerment they know what they can achieve in terms of their own power so this is about what you have taken action what you've taken the lead on to really bring success your way and achievement that is the energy here the four of swords can be that moment here when you decide you know or when you're waiting for some kind of decision here this can be about you taking a step back to think about taking action and taking the lead it's with a view to walk away from something towards something better here that is the energy that i'm getting here aries i feel that some commitment is coming in and you might have been considering this you might be con this the four of swords can be about okay i need to take a step back here and really consider what do I need to do? What do I need to do to bring resolution to my situation? Because the Four of Swords can be if you're tired, you're exhausted, if you're trying to find solutions here where solutions are needed, you get your head around a situation and all of a sudden things become clear in what you need to do to remedy the situation. So that could be in relationships, that can be in terms of money, career or other areas of your life. So that is the energy here. Uh, it might well be for some of you, you've been thinking, but you took action, you took the lead in order to resolve a situation. Now, for some of you, there's a commitment coming your way as a result of that. The Eight of Cups can be about walking away from a situation because it's time. Sometimes things just play out, you know, and it's time to move on. That can be the energy of the Eight of Cups. It's time for me to go to something better, in business terms, this would well be, you know, I've learned all I can here. So it's time for me to move on. You know, that is the energy here. For others of you, it could well be that you're turning your back on disappointment. It could well be something has been tiring or exhausting in some way um, or difficult to deal with. And the solution for you is what do I need to do to walk away from this? I need to go get something else. So this is the energy here where a commitment might be offered to you in some way that allows you to turn your back in a situation and move in a different direction. So that's what I'm getting here, Aries, because the Eight of Cups always walks towards the Nine of Cups, your wish coming true. So where you're happier, you're more fulfilled. So this is the energy here of, I feel some commitment coming in allows you to do that. Now, the caveat with this is if you've already taken action, this can be that momentary pause before there is recovery, before there is a solution, in which case you might be getting some kind of commitment coming through to you. Either way, I feel, oh, 
you know, I kind of just push the cards and the sun's underneath that. The, the sun is light after dark, happiness after joy. Underneath that, we've got, <laughs> we've got the six of pentacles, somebody reaching out, offering you something. It's really spirit telling you it's your time to receive. You're getting what you need. The six of pentacles can be to do with a sum of money, an award of some kind. It can also be somebody reaching out in terms of money, career, finances, jobs, business, career. Now, the caveat with the six of pentacles is it's spirit saying this is what you need to remedy the situation. It's not always what we want. So just bear that in mind. It could well be whatever this gift is, it's it's what restores balance for you. It's what restores harmony for you. It might not always be everything that we want, but it's enough. That is definitely the energy here. With the Sun card, I feel it's certainly more than enough. Happiness, joy. Just stepping into the light. The Sun is a card of here comes the Sun. It's a card of happiness after sadness or challenge. It can just be a card of good news, success, celebration, joy, happiness. Um, it's a great abundant energy. If this was somebody asking, will it be yes or no? This is a resounding yes, because it's the major arcana, yes. So it's the most influential card in the tarot deck, um, but it's just where you feel happy, joy, uplifted, celebratory. Really lovely energy. Okay, final message for Aries, thank you. Final message for Aries. <laughs> we have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I am actually going to pull you. I got hold of these cards. I saw them and I thought, actually, I'm going to get them. So this is an affirmation card. We'll see what we have for our lovely Aries. If I can grab hold of one, just one, thank you. You know, two fell out, so let's go with it. We have, I choose to see struggles as an opportunity to grow. So that is your first affirmation. I don't know if that's scanning in. There we go. That's your first one. Your second one, Aries. I accept and respect all my different emotions. Those are your affirmations for the day, Aries. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.